Setting up VDM05 for Vextiag VCX SE with a slave file. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. So, before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get started. To set up VDMO May 1st, 01 for use with the Vexdiag VCX SE bins, you need to apply a special fix file, slave file, to configure it as a J2534 device. Follow the steps below to successfully set up and connect to ECU modules. Requirements. VDMO May 1st, 01 software. Vestiag VCX s Special fix file, slave file. Procedure. 1. Download and install VDMO May 1st. 01. Ensure you have the VDMO May 1st, 01 software installed on your computer. 2. Obtain the special fix file, slave file. Download the required special fix file, slave file, for VDMO May 1st, 01 to work with Vexdiag VCX SE. 3. Copy and replace the file. Navigate to the installation directory of VDMO. Typically, this will be in C colon backslash program files, x86, backslash VDMO backslash Caesar backslash driver. Copy the downloaded slave file. Paste the file into the driver folder mentioned above. When prompted, choose to replace the existing file. 4. Run VDMO as administrator. Right-click on the VDMO shortcut and select Run as administrator. 5. Configure the device in VDMO. Open VDMO. Go to the Update menu. Select the ECOM port corresponding to your Vexdiag VCX SE device. Update the configuration. 6. Verify the setup. Ensure that the Vexdiag VCX SE device is recognized by VDMO. Connect the device to your vehicle's OBD2 port. Attempt to connect to an ECU module, for example, the MED40 ECU. Troubleshooting connection issues. ECU connection error. If you encounter an error stating that the connection with the ECU cannot be established, double check the slave file replacement in the device configuration in VDMO. Make sure the Vexdiag VCX SE device is properly connected and powered. Testing with Sentry. Verify compatibility. Ensure that the Vexdiag VCX SE works with Zentry December 2023. Use CBF files from Zentry with VDMO to ensure compatibility. Example of usage. Connecting to Mercedes Me 9.7 ECU. Your engineer should test the connection to a specific ECU such as the Mercedes Me 9.7 ECU using the CBF files from Zentry. Ensure the VXDIAG device is properly recognized and the connection to the ECU is successfully established. By following these steps, you should be able to set up VDMO May 1st, 01 with the VXDIAG VCX SE bins using the provided slave file and establish a stable connection with ECU modules. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, take care and happy diagnosing.